Well, good afternoon, YouTube. Well, I was going to get up early this morning and, and start working out back and start organizing stuff to get ready for a garage sale and start some more projects that I, I have to do maintenance on to get stuff sold on Craigslist. Uh, but anyway, I kind of overdid it yesterday and I couldn't get my prosthetic on today. So, so I've been kind of wheelchair bound most of the day today and, and then I saw, thought I would go ahead and, uh, and do a little intro video on a, on a project I'm going to be doing over the winter time. Uh, this is going to be a fun project, I think, but, uh. Some of the people that uh, that have known me for a long time, clear back to the high school days and just out of high school, uh, if they remember, I used to race bicycles and I, I've done 100 mile races and, and quite a few races around Central Oregon and just did a lot of biking and, and I built my own bikes and 10 speeds back in the day. But uh, anyway, I'm still liking to build build bicycles and I have a couple of mountain bikes that are out in the shed the last one that I built I uh I haven't even been able to ride it yet because of all the all the medical problems and uh so anyway I I'm just wondering if I can still ride a bicycle or not and I come up with an idea maybe I would uh, do an electric bicycle you know so I did a little research on on YouTube and started watching videos and uh and they're pretty impressive. <laughs> it looks like they, they would work for me. It'd be fun. But uh, I was hoping to get something just a little bit more stable. So uh, I'm watching one video. And they're out in some sand dunes. And uh, here comes a uh, here comes a three-wheel adult tricycle with an electric motor on it. So I thought, well, that is about the coolest thing i ever seen. I want one of those. So I started doing some research and I found a found a good uh, tricycle frame that everybody seemed to be uh, searching for and they're highly sought after and I started uh, I started looking around and anyway a guy had an ad for he had a whole bunch of junk metal and and stuff over in uh, Venita just outside of Eugene on Craigslist so I was looking at the picture and here was this frame sitting there the one I was looking for. So I emailed the guy and asked him what he wanted for that uh, for that trike frame and told him what I was going to do with it and that I was handicapped and going to make an electric tricycle to get around on and kind of help me out. And uh, so he emailed me back later and he says, well, me and my wife talked about it. And if, if you want to come over and get it, I'll just give it to you. So uh, so thank you, Kenny uh, from Benita. They own a second uh, star secondhand store or something over there. I never got to meet them when I was there. Uh, the trike was right there by by their property, and I just stopped and picked it up with a with a friend of mine, and then we were back on our way back over. So uh, so anyway, thank you very much, Kenny. Uh, got it home. Got it setting up here. Um, so anyway, I'm going to show you guys a picture of it. And it's not a pretty thing to start with, but I can, I can see it's going to truly be a beautiful thing when I'm all done with it. So let me pan around here, and we'll start on it. So anyway, she she has a little rust to her. And uh, anyway, half a half a handlebar up there. But uh, but the frame's in good shape, and that's that's what I'm looking for. And I'm going to strip this frame down and, and paint it or have it powder coated. I haven't decided yet. Um, I've, I've powder coated a couple of bikes and, and that seems to be the way to go. But we'll see how much they want to charge me for this thing. But uh, anyway, the video I was watching was a uh, fat tire trike. So that's what I'm going to turn this into is a, fa is a fat tire trike. So I think I've got the electric motor figured out it's going to be a 1200 watt motor so it's going to be a front hub motor so i got to put different forks on here because my tires are going to be four inches wide for this thing uh it's a single speed right now but i'm thinking i might change that hub out and do one of the old uh three speeds i don't know i'll, I'll see if i can come up with a three speed hub there but uh anyway so I'm going to put uh, fat tires on this thing. So they're going to be four inches wide. 
and I've looked all over the internet and it is very very expensive to get fat tire rims for for a trike because this one right here is a free spinning hub back here it just sits there and spins and then the other hub on the other side uh, that is uh, that is the drive drive hub so anyway they, they were talking like 500 bucks for a set a set of back rims for one of these things so anyway i got a bright idea i would just buy the rims and uh, i'm going to take these hubs off probably put new bearings in them and i'm going to lace up my own it's been many many years since i've uh since i've laced up a laced up a rim and got her all torqued down and trued it up but oh goodness but i got nothing but time this winter so so I'm going to get that done, and uh, i got a lot of parts i got to replace, but this is going to be the project. So uh, anyway, it's sitting, it's sitting up in the air too much on those sawhorses and stuff. So I, uh, I went out and dug a really, really short pair right here, and I'm going to put a piece of plywood on there, and I think I can get that trike down to a reasonable height where I can actually work on it. So... But it's gonna it's gonna be some work. I I don't know what I'm gonna do for fenders yet. I looked online and I can't find any four inch wide fenders, so I may end up having somebody build me some, or I'm gonna attempt this myself. But uh, it ought to be interesting by the time it's all done. But anyway, so just a little short intro into into this project. It's gonna be ongoing for months and months. But come springtime, it ought to be a kick in the pants. That's for sure. Well, anyway, we will see you on the next video.